I've never really messed with Gwyneth Paltrow. I, it's kind of just been a character trait for me since day one, since birth. I've always just kind of been a hater. And I've not been quiet about this fact. I've been very loud. Roll clip. I wouldn't wish that upon my worst enemy unless, of course, we're talking about my enemy, Gwyneth Paltrow. Fuck you, Gwyneth Paltrow. You know what you did. Yeah, that TikTok sound was me. I, I think it comes from a YouTube video where I, like, complained about umbrellas or something. I, my headspace was very different back then. And now for the uninitiated, that type of hatred seems misplaced, right? It's just Gwyneth Paltrow, what'd she ever do? You know, you've seen her in Iron Man. She was Pepper Potts back then. What, 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 what could she have done wrong? I don't really know if she's acting no more. I don't know if she's an actor no more. But what I do know is she's made a transition into being a wellness person, like a wellness influencer type of thing. She owns this brand called Goop that's recommended people get like stung by bees or something. It's a lot of bullshit. It's a lot of bullshit. She sold a candle. It smelled like her pussy. And most likely it was publicity, but there's a chance it's not. A lot of things happen. But what I want to talk about in particular is this interview she did about her wellness routine. What's your wellness routine look like now? I eat dinner early in the evening. I do a nice intermittent fast. I usually eat something about 12. Mm -hmm. um, and in the morning, I'll have some things that won't spike my blood sugar, right? So I, I have coffee, but I really like soup for lunch. Um, I have bone broth for lunch a lot of the days. Try to do one hour of movement. So I'll either take a walk or I'll do Pilates or I'll do my Tracy Anderson. And then I get in the sauna. I dry brush and I get in the sauna. So I do my infrared sauna for 30 minutes. And then for dinner, I try to eat, you know, according to paleo. So lots of vegetables. It's really important for me to support my detox. This motherfucker's been detoxing for like five years now. What the fuck is you detoxing from? Okay, so this person eats like berries and shit for breakfast, uh, bone broth for lunch, which it's not really soup. That's just the broth. You know, typically for a soup, you add some vegetables or some meat. You can't just give someone <laughs> broth with nothing in it and be like, yo, I got to make you some soup. That's not what fucking soup is. Unless she has something paleo for dinner. I don't know. I, I don't really care about the paleo thing. It just seems stupid. Do what you want. Eat how you like. Whatever. Now, I don't want to comment super heavy on someone's physical appearance right but i will do that right now she don't look that good if this detox is supposed to save her life and all that shit it, it, ooh, she looks like she's dying just like bam one snap at the finger and she falls apart like a skeleton do you see her it's that's fucking skin and bone man and normally i would never come on the internet and just talk shit about someone's appearance or like what they eat or da 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 but i was gonna be so real with you this sounds like eating disorder i ain't no doctor I ain't no nutritionist, but if I was, I would look at her and I'd say, hey, don't eat like that. I got some friends who had eating disorders back in the day. And while they didn't have no fucking gourmet bone broth and shit or private chef, or whatever, some of their diets sound a lot like that. And hey, maybe it's not a good look to promote this as healthy and wellness. How about motherfuckers just eat what they want in like a healthy range and moderation and shit? I don't know, that just seems better to me. Also, let's look at this next video. As we're recording this right now, you have a little IV, so, which is so on brand for both of us. <laughs> we pod an IV at the same time. Get I'm really embarrassing <laughs> myself right here. People wanna ask about IVs. I love an IV, I'm an early IV adopter. Glutathione, I, I love to have in an IV. Kind of a random, more fringy one, phosphatidylcholine, that's my favorite IV when I can find them. They're quite hard to find. Yeah. And those make me feel so good. But this today, just cause I was flying, I have just a bag of good old-fashioned vitamins. So yeah, if you didn't know, in that interview, it's the same interview, both clips, she has a fucking IV in because she's not getting enough nutrients to her fucking diet. Oh my God. How can you be a wellness person? How can you be someone that's about like health and fitness, all this da 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 da, get on an interview and be like, hey, this is what I eat. This is what I do to be healthy. By the way, I have to put an IV in myself to sustain my life. And it's not like an IV like, oh, I was in the hospital. I need some fucking shit running through my blood. No. She don't get enough vitamins. Also, just a word of warning to anyone who's super keen on vitamins. That shit is fucking a ploy. You get vitamins good through food. You know what I mean? You don't need to take extra shit if you have a good diet. You it, Like, 
let's let those wheels turn here and be like intelligent about our thinking. Also, your body don't absorb them the same way. Like it don't absorb them enough and it's not the exact same thing. It's just not as good for you and it's not really as up to you. Otherwise, we could all just take pills and sustain ourselves. Why do you think we don't do that? Because we fucking die. I can't, I ain't no diet. I can't diagnose her. Maybe she can't eat her. Maybe she don't. I don't know what's going on here. But it's just bad to peddle this stuff like like use an expert. And that's what you do. She has a wellness brand. She does that shit. This is how she makes her money now. And she's saying stupid ass shit. I mean, it's your body. You can do whatever you want with your body. But the second you try to market to people, to make money off of them, to prey on their own insecurities, to make some money, make a quick buck, fuck you, man. Fuck when Paltrow. All my homies hate Gwyneth Paltrow. She knows what she did because this time we's putting a name on it. She's fucking peddling bullshit. And this last clip I have for you, I don't even know what it means 100%. So it's less of like, this is a bad thing. It's just like, what the fuck? What's the weirdest wellness thing that you've done? I have used ozone therapy. Uh, rectally. I do <laughs> I know this about you. <laughs> it's pretty weird. It's pretty weird. What the fuck do that mean? What the fuck do that mean? All right, so I looked it up. This is what it says. So ozone therapy is a type of alternative medicine without scientific evidence that like brings up oxygen with the ozone or something. It's, it's kind of confusing. Um, just know that ozone is not good for the body. It can be toxic to humans. And again, this one's more goofy. You know, she took fucking ozone gas up the butthole. Like, that's kind of fucking wild. What the hell? But again, this is something that is not proven medically. It can have horrible side effects on you. And use acting and talking like, like it's a normal thing, like it's good medicine. I ain't saying there's not natural alternatives to certain medicine. We've been using plants and herbs for medicinal properties all of human history and the only reason we switched off of that is so motherfucker like oil barons and shit could use their petroleum based medicines to make more money so no i understand this appeal towards alternative things but like you think motherfuckers was using ozone gas back 10 hundred years ago to fucking cure they shit no they wasn't no they wasn't i'll just say it like it is one of Paltrow is a freakazoid. She's a creepy little fuck. I don't like the way those eyes look at me. I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to say to this. She's 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 weird. She says she's weird and she says dumb things. And she makes money off of it. And people suffer because of it. I don't know statistics. We could look into it. Let's see how many people have died because they got fucking stung by bees and shit. <gasps> Why the fuck would she recommend get stung by bees? <laughs> If you don't know what I was referring to when I talk about the bees things, apparently in a 2016 piece for the New York Times, she said she's been stung by bees a thousand times. What's some shit called? Aviotherapy? I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> she's goofy. How do anyone take her seriously? Jesus Christ. But yeah, I did not miss with that original video. I did not miss. She's a weirdo. She's a weirdo. We should not listen to her. Let's get her out of the public eye. Maybe into a nursing home. She needs help. Anyways, if you like this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn post notifications on. And if you like this video, watch that video right there. I see you're gonna like that one. If you like this one, have a great day.